Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Jim sent me a note about a story. This one is so strange. Now, it turns out that nobody got hurt, but it's a strange story nonetheless. From KMOV, Alexis Zotos wrote this. Police investigation underway after children are left behind following arrest and traffic stop in Hazelwood. This is in Missouri, KMOV. Hazelwood police chief says an internal investigation is underway after a traffic stop Wednesday night. Investigation is underway. Happened around 11.30 at night. Man is pulled over for an expired license plate on his way home from a funeral. The man's coming home from a funeral. Police pull him over. Hey, your license plate is expired. After the officer told him he had an open warrant, he uh, then saw the evening kind of go in a different direction. The warrant stemmed from a citation from five years ago over a lack of vehicle insurance. So they say you got a ticket for no insurance. You never took care of it. That's five years ago. Okay. He described what was going through his mind when the officer told him to get out of the car and put him in handcuffs. So again, 1130 at night, coming home from a funeral with my children in the car. So he said to himself, there's no way they're going to take me away from my children. A bystander captured the traffic stop on camera. And in that, the man can be heard saying, this isn't even serious, as police hold him against the squad car. And then moments later, they tased him. Now, I will admit I do not know the context of the tasing, so I'm not going to address that. I don't know if he deserved it or not. Don't know, but there was a taser involved. Meanwhile, in the car were four children, 14, 13, 11, and one-year-old, a one-year-old, oldest being 14. The video shows police drive the man away, and then someone checks on the kids, asking if any of them have a driver's license. The one-year-old got a driver's license? 14-year-old got a driver's license? No, none of them have driver's licenses. The officers then leave. Leave. A car by the side of the road with four kids in aged 1 through 14. Video from the bystander shows the car on the side of the road with the children inside. What the hell? Who would leave minors in the car by themselves late at night is the question that um, the other woman in the story asks. She was still at her father's funeral when she got the text from her fiancé that he had been pulled over She finally found the children by simply driving the route home and found the car there at the side of the road with the hysterical kids in it. So again, put this in context from their viewpoint. They're driving home from a funeral late at night. Not a fun thing to begin with. They get pulled over by the police. They see their father get taken out of the car, handcuffed and tased. They drive off with him. And there they are all by themselves at the side of the road. Now, mom finds them, which is good. And uh, says, we see them on the side of the road with the door open, the headlights on, the car still running. So that's another problem. The fact that these kids are all sitting in a running car with the doors open and the headlights on at the side of the road at probably about midnight now. Hazelwood Police Chief says it is their policy that minors should not be left unattended. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's always cool when they've got a policy. We've got a policy. The internal investigation will look into use of force from the incident, which I'm guessing is the taser, as well as the policy surrounding passengers in the car. Uh, First Alert 4 is working to learn the status of the officers and additional details of the investigation. Meanwhile, the man who was arrested was released Thursday morning. No charges have been filed surrounding the traffic stop at this time. So he could be written on the expired plate. They could also follow up on the lack of insurance. Those are legitimate traffic concerns. But when the police pull someone over and they got kids in the car, I've seen when they got dogs in the car. I've mentioned before, I watch a lot of these videos on YouTube, and I've seen the police pull somebody over who's got a dog in their car, and they arrest the driver. And they actually go through all these extraordinary steps to get the dog taken care of. Where they'll, you know, they'll, they'll call somebody from you know, the Humane Society or whatever, and, and they'll come and you know, take possession of this dog. Someone who knows how to handle the dog will take possession of the dog so the owner can get the dog back later. And here we've got four kids in a car, one of whom is one-year-old. One-year-old. And a 14-year-old. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you right now. I've got five older brothers. And I don't have any memories from when I was one that I'm aware of. But let's just say that me and three next older brothers were left in a car by the side of the road. Um, I, I think we would have survived at that time. But it would have been traumatic. It would have been. And now, luckily, one of my older brothers would have had the sense to say, hey, by the way, guys, we're going to be okay. Everybody calm down, you know. (laughs) <laughs> mom's going to come find us. But this is just a bizarre situation. And now I understand that all across America right now, right now at the exact moment I'm talking, even though it's early in the morning, 
this exact moment in time, there are police conducting traffic stops. And 99.9999999% of them happen flawlessly and perfectly. Police officer walks over. You know, I pulled you over. I have no idea. You ran a red light. I'm sorry. Lights, uh, license, registration, proof of insurance. Here you go. Go back to the car. Run it. Come back with either a warning or a ticket. There you go. Have a nice day. Person goes to work. Goes, guess what? I got a ticket on the way into work today. Or I got pulled over but got no ticket. But that's how most of them go. But here we've got a guy driving home with his four kids from a funeral. And I have no, I have no problem with the police pulling him over. If they ran his plate and said, expired plate and I'll see any warrant, yeah, pull him over. Absolutely. And uh, if protocol is that the outstanding warrant gets you arrested, arrest him. But then go, okay, now we've got four kids. What do we do with them? Well, it turns out you've got a policy on that. Follow the policy. So we'll see what happens. I doubt much is going to happen, but it's a bizarre story, and it made the news for that reason. So, Jim, thanks for sending it. And... <laughs> Like I said, I really do wonder. I really do wonder about about what's going to be said. Is it going to literally be, I thought he was going to do it. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. You know, and and that's fine that you can think that, but somebody's got to actually do it. And keep in mind this, that if you go to a traffic stop and you are a police car with a police officer in it and you arrest somebody, put them in your car, if there's anybody else to stop, they don't have anybody in their car that they're taking back from the stop to the station. So you think that person would be the person who would stick behind and figure out what to do with his kids and so on. You'd think. You'd think. So that's the story from KMOV. Jim, thanks for sending it again. Um, Alexis Zotos wrote that. Police investigation underway after children are left behind following arrest at traffic stop in Hazelwood. Questions or comments? Put them below. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few of them are dirt.